Hey love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome to my returning self, my own extended family. Um, we're all being activated left and right. So um, just be able to pay attention to the things that are being sent to you that, mean, that may be out of the blue or just seems kind of off because something's telling me that a lot of us are receiving a lot of different visions and uh, synchronicities that might not come to a bigger meeting until later on down the line. So make sure you pay attention to that. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what you waiting for? Like and subscribe. You can hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you're comfortable enough, please drop me a line. Um, I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if uh, you find the videos uh, very informative to you or just gives you good vibes, you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through some trying times and need assistance with spiritual guidance or they need confirmation or validation towards life path or soul purpose please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you once again for the love and support it's so greatly appreciated and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and um today my background music i'm using is called tranquil sleep deep sleep music 528 hertz miracle healing tone positive energy cleanse and i will post that link description box below and today my video is twin flame one heyoka is experiencing massive migraines uh of overloads of downloads through your third eye oh jesus y'all for the last four or five days since all these major shifts are coming off with like the moon of aries now i think it's in the moon of uh gemini today i'm not sure i gotta look again but it's like all these different you know different phases is bringing on a lot of downloads to the point where you know yesterday i had i mean i slept on and off yesterday i was like it got to that point where i was feeling pain behind my eyes i couldn't deal with it i'm just like oh gosh please just let me get through this day and it was like it's bad because i had to get some caffeine today i didn't really have caffeine for the last few days i don't know if it's just from also from the caffeine withdrawals as well i'm trying you know to cut myself back off of uh energy drinks and stuff like that so you know, I get drained a lot. People be like, Rosalyn, you need to stop taking them things. I say, I know, but it's just like me being in the work I'm in at that level, I send out a lot of vibes. So it like tires me really bad. And it's just like the more I open up to it, um, the more, you know, my energy is like drained and the more energy I drain, and you know, I'm more acceptive to it because a lot of us are going through that situation where if you are allowing yourself uh, to set free from a lot of painful dark things that has been in your life um, when you're actually leaving that room to be able to receive a lot of different things you might be feeling a lot of headaches discombobulation pressure between the eyebrows you know sometimes where it catches you days and off in space I know my daughter was talking to me yesterday I'm like what and she's like mom are you okay I'm like you know trying to sit in the dark and I'm talking real low and I mean, like I was telling y'all in an earlier video, I mean, my TV volume could be on 9 or 10 and that was still too loud. I was like so sensitive towards any and everything. But, but more of the shifts are going on, you might feel a lot drained. But it's just like when um, that third eye is like really engaged, <laughs> you know, you have to be able to... Um, really be receptive to those things and knowing it is it's a must that you had to go through it anyway because there's a lot of things that they're sending down to you that you might need to know about yourself as well as things that are happening towards you or you know there's something that's coming forth so it's just allowing you to open up your creativity all these different goodies that has been placed upon you so it, it might seem a little bit overwhelming i know for the last few days it's like my I've been going through a lot of crying spells because I'm release, releasing a lot. It's just like after you're going through a spiritual awakening, you will go through a, a grief. It's like a death, you know, the death of an ego or it's just a death of a, you know, an old 
uh, emotional chapters in your life. So you will go through that grief of separation because you've been stuck with that situation for so long. And it's like, like I said before, it's like it feels like it's a security blanket because we're so used to holding on to situations like that when you're finally coming to terms with it and knowing, you know, it's better off to be able to set yourself away from that part ways with it. You know, you might not understand all the things that's going on, but it's like, you know, it's going to be benefiting you later on down the road because it's just like when you have all these blessings coming in and you, these are the things you truly want in your life you know if you're still hanging on to you know old things it's like you know and I, I get aggravated with myself because I catch myself doing it it's like you have so many blessings ahead why the hell are you worried about something that you can't even change you know why are you doing that why are you allowing your ego to bring up certain things because you know it, when it comes to the death of the ego ego like wait a minute hold up wait a minute now <laughs> this is something new we are not used to doing this wait a minute what are you doing you know you have to be able to tell the, the ego to get have a couple of seats and sit down. I got this. You know, you have to be able to do that. But it's a lot of things that's going on right now. This, you know, it's just helping off a lot of things. So it's just like I was telling y'all about the other video. You know, the closer you get to your higher self, the more creativity comes out because it gives you more ideas. You know, you're allowing yourself to be able, when you're not sitting up here stressing a lot, which is a human reflex, a mad reflex was a fail safe we tend to do when we're uncertain about how our things are guiding us but you have to keep telling yourself you know they're not going to send you somewhere where you're not number one you're not protected and they wouldn't send you out here if it's not going to benefit you in the long run so you have to be able to trust that you know you have to be able to do that you know trusting yourself and trusting the fact that you know the powers that be is trying to educate you as well as bless you at the same time so all these different things are coming in where it's going to give you massive migraines because you're receiving so many different energies and so many thoughts, so many emotions all at one time. They're trying to cram it all into that because a lot of us, when we're shifting between dimensions and jumping portals, it's, you know, the more we tend to do that because a lot of times we do it and we don't even realize we're doing it when we're staring out of space. We're, we're getting flighty, <laughs> you know, so I see a lot of y'all doing that at times. It's like I, I see a lot of you. Like I said in the last video, like in um, the movie Arrival, when, the, you know, like someone's taking you in a spaceship and your body is just floating up. I see a lot of y'all doing that, but it's like not the actual spaceship. I'm using that as a metaphor, so I don't know why I think I'm talking about the rapture and all these different things. You know, people have their opinions saying, oh, you know, the world's ending. Yeah, the world's ending. We're all living in our last day because of all the crazy stuff that we're placing upon this earth, all the killing we're doing, all these different nonsense of things that's going on. They're preparing us for something. I really don't feel like it's preparing us like, you know, for the world Armageddon to come down. But it's like something that we truly need in life where there are a lot of people are coming to terms with their contract that they're here. So a lot of people are passing away. Some are, you know, really young. You know, did we think that you never would have thought this person would do that. You know, one I know is recent. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Cameron Boyle, I think that's Cameron, who's a sweet little boy. He played in Jesse, and he played in um, the movie I remember him from, uh, is Mirrors, with uh, Kiefer Sutherland and Paula Patton Thicke, you know, um, where he was, he, you know, it's just like when I see him, I always seen a special aura around him. There was something very special about him, even when I seen him when he was a little boy. So it was just like, just to be able to hear that was already heartbreaking, you know, because if he's around my, my kid's age, you know, I, I just send more prayers to that, those parents um, that had to deal with that. It's, it's never an easy thing to be able to bury your child. You should never have to bury your child. It should be the other way around. But, you know, there's a lot of people whose contracts are running out and um, it's almost time for them to go home or some of the artists went home. You know, they've done the things that they need to do. They impact the world. They met who the people they were supposed to meet, educate somebody, and now they're going about their business to a different transition. So there's a lot of things that, you know, the universe is preparing us for. A lot of things we are unsure of. You know, a lot of us is feeling something is coming, something is coming to surface. A lot of things might be moving at rapid speed where you feel like, whoa, everything's coming at me all so fast, yes, because a lot of things are starting to speed up, and there's some people that are kind of left behind because they're holding on to a lot of things that, you know, universe is telling you, hey, you know, if it keeps resurfacing like that, they're trying to tell you those are the keys where you need to let this go because there's a place where these can, these things can't go with you, and we need you with this certain part, so you need to go ahead and part ways with whatever this stuff is holding you behind. 
you know, they got something for you, but you can't be able to get it, receive it until you let these things go. So it's just a lot of that. I've been reflecting and releasing. So, you know, I've been trying to put out videos daily, but I'm blessed. The fact is I do so many in one day the, just because the way YouTube is set up. It usually don't come all up in my all of all of, all of them don't come out in one day because the messages I'm sending out is like you know I usually send some out that's like 10 or 12 minutes but the things they lately they've been having me talk about it usually lasts almost up until 20 25 minutes so I'm like wow okay I'm just delivering a message letting y'all know <laughs> become aware all these different things are coming to light so a lot of us are enhancing in gifts and a lot of the other ones are starting to be switched on I see a lot of y'all going through that visions of you know light switches coming on it's just like I see y'all in, in this dark room and then there's so many switches and you're just looking this way that way like oh my god all these lights you know it's starting to come on so it, it's just like you've been through so many trials and tribulations and they see that you're becoming stronger but it's just the fact is they can't open all those switches you know they can't cut all them switches on at once you have to go through certain gauntlets of your life certain chapters of your life where you had to see you had to endure you had to become you had to let go and you had to forgive and then next cycle now you have two other gifts that's about to pop on because it's just like you know in your spirit world you can be able to endure all that but with us being in the human form you can't be able to do all, all that stuff at all at one time you'll be cool for cocoa puffs and stuff like that so they don't want to be able to do that to you you know they want you to be able to bear the things that they're sending towards you so um, that's pretty much all I have to say about that one. So if you've been receiving a lot of massive headaches lately, where a lot of things are sensitive to you, whether it's light, where it's even people talking to you, everything is so heightened because it's just the fact is all the downloads of overloads you have been receiving lately. So be able to meditate when you can, get into dark places if you can, and go ahead and you know release yourself because it's coming <laughs> so you know don't worry you know it's only supposed to last for a few days that we're going through but it's just all the different shifts that we've been experiencing is bound to happen if you haven't experienced it yet you've probably been going through a wave of emotions where you probably cry at a doctor drop of a hat and things like that because it's allowing you to have that grief of, the, of you know of releasing old wounds so I hope you are able to, you know, resonate with that, sending uplifting vibes towards anybody who truly needs it right now because I already know how that mess felt because I've been dealing with it for the last three days. But, you know, I'm actually grateful that I did experience it because I feel a lot lighter um, since that happened. It makes you feel like, kind of like if you, you know how people with dialysis got to go, they're always stuck with all that fluid and they got to go every few days to go, you know, flush all that fluid out and everything's getting recycled. That's pretty much what empaths are totally going through. So it's just like we've been holding on to heavy energy for so long. It could be confusion. It could be fear or even regret or just angry. So they're making you go through it today. Well, go through it this week. <laughs> so, you know, just be patient with yourself. And be able to welcome whatever love they're trying to send you. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video. I hope y'all have a blessed, blessed, safe weekend. And be responsible for everything you do. You know, kick back, relax, do what you do for fun. Um, but I would love to give a post notification shout out to Yasima. Uh, Ranger, much love to you. And um, I hope that all y'all have a blessed weekend. You know, know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And I will see you on my next video. So now as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. You know, because you never know your kind words can really take somebody a long way. So remember, drop a line. Get, I'll give you a shout out. Give me a thumbs up. Share. Subscribe if you have not already. And hit that bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And I'll see you later. Much love. Peace.